Hello and today we'll be checking out the OpenCart multi-vendor marketplace vendor subdomain plugin using which the marketplace admin can provide the functionality to have a separate vendor subdomain for the marketplace vendors. Apart from that, uh, the separate vendor domain will work for the profile page, category, compare, manufacturer, product, search and the spatial pages as well. So uh, I'll just be showing you the functionality of this particular plugin and kindly note that this plugin uh, is an add-on to the WebCool's OpenCart Multi-Vendor Marketplace uh, module and you'll have to install that first and then you can make use of this uh, particular plugin. That's the uh, OpenCart Multi-Vendor Marketplace uh, Vendor Subdomain plugin. So now let's hop on to uh, the uh, storefront. As you can see right now, I'm already at the storefront on the uh, seller profile page, as you can see. And here in the address bar, you can see the uh, URL is shop-webcool.seller.oc.webcool.com forward slash seller-profile. And before we proceed for, uh, further, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do give it a thumbs up. Also kindly note that uh, from the admin's end uh, for the initial configuration of this particular uh, plugin functionality, uh, there's some server configuration which is required wherein the uh, marketplace admin will have to uh, map the domain name uh, to the uh, dot domain there. So uh, for example, uh, we have the example.com. So the admin needs to set it as asterisk.example.com. Now here on the uh, profile page, uh, you can see that the prefix had, has been added by the admin from the backend and the uh, vendor screen name that is taken up from the seller detail section along with the domain name is visible here as you can see at the uh, top URL itself. And uh, in the last, you can see the actual page that uh, we are on, that's the uh, seller profile uh, page. So uh, here, so here the shop is the uh, prefix that has been added by the admin. Then uh, we have hyphen with cool. So that's the shop name. Then we have the dot seller dot oc uh, dot uh, webcool dot com and uh, that's the uh, domain name and here we have the page or uh, the actual page of the uh, marketplace vendor itself and uh, also the customers can come to the uh, seller profile page here and they can search for the respective vendors products or uh, apart from that they can also directly go to the uh, category pages to check the vendors available products. So this is uh, only uh, available if the setting, that's the display sellers product is uh, set as enabled. Otherwise, all the products would be visible. And the uh, screen name is actually the shop name that is added by the customer uh, while he is registering as a vendor at the registration page on the OpenCart multi-vendor marketplace. Uh, uh, the uh, shop name comes from here on the registration page if I scroll down. You can see that we have this shop name option. So whatever uh, shop name you have set it uh, at the time of registration, then that would be appended here before the seller.oc. And uh, uh, let me give you an example for that as well. So you can see that we have the prefix and this is the shop name that we have added before the seller.oc.webcool.com for the seller uh, profile page. Now uh, coming to the category page of the uh, seller here, or the vendor here you can see that uh, I'm on the collection page right now so the customers can check the uh, what categories of the store wherein uh, uh, they'll be able to find the respective products of the uh, vendor so for example if we go to the electronics category uh, we'll be able to see all of the sub channel categories of the same and the products uh, that this particular vendor is selling out so here you can see that we have the seller profile all of the products are being displayed from the categories there so if uh, this option has been disabled uh, uh, that's uh, to uh, show the seller products then all of if we go to the uh, category here then all of the products of all of the sellers would then be displayed here so that was about the uh, sellers uh, uh, collection and how the customers can access the sellers category and the products within them as well now let's go to one of the product pages and uh, I'll be showing you the URL for the same. So uh, right now you can see that uh, uh, the uh, URL is same. That's uh, shop-webcool.seller.oc.webcool.com. Uh, this is the uh, domain name. Uh, this is the shop name. 
and this is uh, the uh, prefix in the URL and uh, if you see and uh, the customers basically can see the same uh, uh, URL at the uh, top here uh, for the vendors product as well and it is having the same vendor domain that we are already on so if I go back to my seller profile just give me a second for that so here you can see that the vendor URL here is shop webcoolcom on the collection on the profile page and now if we go to the product page of this particular seller the same uh, URL is also visible here to the uh, customers now uh, the customers can also search the products uh, of the uh, vendors from their uh, from their profile page as well so for example here uh, we'll just go ahead and we'll be uh, searching a product so uh, for example it's uh, so just iMac so I'll just copy that up and uh, thereafter I'll be searching the same and now I'll just scroll up and I'll be uh, pasting this uh, product name and I'll just hit the enter button now as soon as this uh, product has been searched uh, within the seller profile there uh, this is the product now here even you can see we have the same URL there for the uh, or the vendor subdomain there uh, that is uh, uh, provided by this particular plugin so here we have the shop hyphen webcool.seller.oc.webcool.com and on the search page uh, as well the uh, the results that have been re uh, returned uh, will be having the same vendor subdomain now after this uh, now let me show you uh, a few more things there uh, for example the uh, what do you say as the uh, under the seller profile the uh, sellers uh, or the uh, admin basically will have to uh, enable the settings uh, and set the SEO keyword for the store page uh, to the uh, seller profile so uh, for that let me uh, now take you to the admin backend panel from where we'll be uh, checking the initial configurations for this particular plugin and the rest of the things as well so uh, let's hop on to the admin backend panel and uh, here we'll be logging into the admin pa panel right now so here you can right now see it's uh, seller.oc.webquill.com forward slash admin so i'll just log into my admin account and uh, to make the initial configurations we'll go through extensions extensions uh here we'll be choosing the modules and under that uh, we'll have to uh go to the marketplace uh tap here on the edit uh, button and then we'll have to navigate to the SEO settings here this is the uh, tab there and uh, here we'll have to go to the create SEF links as you can see the first uh, tab is there and here the admin will have to enable this setting uh, and set the SEO keyword for stored page so uh, just give me a second for that so basically here uh, the admin will set the SEO keywords for the store page uh, to the uh, sellers profile so here we have the root for the same and on the right hand side we have the SEO keywords for the store page for example account login will go for account forward slash login seller profile customer partner forward slash uh, profile uh, forward slash sell for the marketplace and similarly for the rest of the things there the admin will uh, basically set up the SEO keywords for the store page for the uh, for the marketplace vendor there now uh, this option basically here uh, it allows you to manually add the SEF URLs for the site URLs and uh, after selecting the URL link and then uh, you'll have to type uh, its SEF keyword URL uh, then uh, the keyword and the select option is displaying all files under the uh, controller folder which can or cannot be direct URL so you can check the URL at the front end in the address bar as well so uh, for example so as an example here on the left hand side we have this select root so if I scroll down here we have the product for slash product for the uh, product page and here I've set up the SEO keyword for the store page for that particular page that's the product and now if I take you to the store front here and we are on the uh, product page on the bottom left hand corner uh, you can see the uh, uh, image URL there so uh, actually I wanted to show you that here we have uh, the uh, vendor subdomain and here you can see that it's the product for slash product uh, on the product search page so that's how we can set up this SEO uh, what we say as the SEO keyword for the store page itself 
So after making uh, this uh, setting here, uh, now uh, let me show you what uh, other configurations are there for this uh, particular plugin in the admin backend panel. So we'll again uh, navigate to extensions and uh, here we'll be choosing the extension type as modules and uh, then we'll be navigating to the webcool multi-vendor marketplace uh, vendor domain. So I'll just scroll down and uh, we'll have to search for that. Here's the webcool uh, marketplace vendor domain. Just tap here on the edit button and that brings up the uh, webcool marketplace vendor domain uh, configuration page. So the very first option that you can see here right now is to enable or disable the functionality for your module. If enabled by choosing enable, then the uh, vendor subdomain would be applicable for the marketplace vendors, otherwise not if you choose it as disabled. Then we have the shop URL prefix. So if you remember, let me take you to the front page. This is the shop hyphen and this is the shop name and the shop is the prefix there. So uh, coming back to this section here, you can see that the shop URL prefix before the shop name, uh, we have set it as shop hyphen. That's why it's uh, showing shop hyphen here. Then we have the display sellers product as enabled or disabled. And uh, basically if enabled, then only the current sellers products would be displayed on the vendor domain. Otherwise, all of the products would be displayed of the uh, marketplace vendor. So you need to enable this so that uh, when the customers go to the category pages, uh, then they'll only be able to access the uh, respective uh, sellers uh, products if enabled. Otherwise, choose it as disabled to display all of the products uh, within the same. And lastly, you'll have to tap here in the uh, save button to uh, make the initial configuration settings. And as mentioned earlier, uh, some server configuration is required, uh, wherein you need to map your domain name to the asterisk dot domain. So for example, if you have a website like uh, example.com, then you'll have to uh, map your domain name to uh, asterisk dot example dot com. So, uh, so uh, that was much about the OpenCart multi-vendor marketplace so vendor subdomain plugin and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements then kindly reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com. Apart from that you can also reach us through our contacts page by navigating to the URL that's the www.webcool.com forward slash contact and lastly if you find this particular video helpful then do give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead